Hey YouTube, Engineer Boy 100 here again. Today we're going to work on a 1999 Mercedes SLK 230. I'm going to be changing the fuel pump and the fuel filter. Now to change these, you got to jack up the car and I'm going to take this back wheel off so I have a little bit more room to work and there's a panel underneath you have to remove to get to the pump and the filter so we'll be doing that next two quick points of safety I want to point out before we get started is whenever you jack up a car in addition to jack stands we always use jack stands is I always use wheel chucks I always use wheel chucks on the wheels to make sure it helps to keep that car stable while it's on the jack stand any wheel that stays on the ground I put wheel chucks on it and in, in, and in particular this case we're working with fuel you want to disconnect your negative battery terminal. So we'll be taking that loose so we don't get any sparks or anything while we're working on the fuel. Okay, so next we'll be up under the car after a little bit of movie magic, jack it up, take the tire off, and we'll be looking at the underside where we remove that cover panel. Okay, movie magic. Got the car jacked up, jack stand in place. Wheel chucks on the other side, because they only jacked up one half, one side of the car. Um, here is the uh, negative uh, battery cable. I'm going to take that loose next. And then we're going to go underneath, and I'll show you what has to be taken loose. And then we'll do it. All right, this is the underside of the car. I don't know why it's so dark. But um, there's three little 10 millimeter bolts. And one of them's way up here. Right here, so you need a, uh, an extension to get to that. One's at the other end, over here. So, it's going to be right there, okay, on the end. And the other one is over here, the other end. So yeah, they toast three loose. Once you take those three loose, you can pull down on it, and then there's a little clamp right here that slides onto this bar. Oh, the movement. I'll just be still for a minute. See this here? It's a little clamp right here that once you have the three little 10 millimeter nuts off and those nuts are plastic too so be careful then you just slide this off of the bar you take the nut side down this nut side of the cover down once you have the nuts off and then you slide this off of this bar and it'll come right off and then you'll have the uh, pump and the filter exposed so that's what you'll see me doing since I can't show you that and do it at the same time under here. Hopefully, hopefully you can see uh, the nuts and uh, I don't know if you can see up in there, nut up there at the top. And it takes a long extension, when I say long, about a foot long extension to reach that top nut. Alright, so next you'll just be seeing me working. Okay, I've taken those through those three 10 millimeter nuts off this is the extension I used with my ratchet it's right at 12 inches long and it was perfect okay so just to give you an idea of what um, what size you'll need for that one that's way up the top so let's go around and I'm gonna take the cover I haven't taken the cover off yet I want to let you guys watch we take the cover off so let's see if I can get this situated under here um, and I have a little headlight on so it'll get the light will get a little better once I get this set up for you, let's see if we can get this set up. Let's see here. Well, here's the here's the uh, cover here. So, like I said, you just pull down on this part, pull this down, and then you pull this slide off here. And as you, you kind of got to work different portions off as they'll come and down and out and down. It's kind of like delivering a baby. And you just uh, voila, and there is your pump and your filter. And we're going to be changing both of these today. So that's what we'll do next. Uh, man, there's just not enough light under here. Jeez. All right, so one thing you want to do is you want to, I got this little clamp here. I'm going to clamp off this hose. This is the supply hose from the gas tank to the uh, fuel filter. 
So you want to clamp that off so you don't just drain all the fuel out of your gas tank all over the ground. So I'm going to give this a good little clamp here. Put that on. And this should hold it for me. I don't know if this is big enough. Is this tight enough? I don't know. So I have smaller ones. I think I might need a smaller one for this because I don't want it leaking. It feels tight. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty tight. All right, so then we just take everything loose. Now, the next thing I'm going to do on the fuel uh, pump is I'm going to make sure I positively mark the positive, the wires, okay, that are connected to the, uh, the leads. I don't want to accidentally get the polarity switch and be sucking instead of pumping or whatever. I don't want to get the pump turning the wrong way. So I'm, I'm going to mark it myself. And I guess what I'll do is not rocket science or anything, but I just want to mark one side so that I know that this side is on the right side of the pump, or this side is on the left side. So I'm going to mark this side green. I'm going to get a green marker and just mark the living hell out of this wire here so that when I can put it back on, I know that green goes on the right side of the outlet. Okay. On the other pump, we ain't gonna mark them, gotta mark them both. We got a bit tape on them. You don't have to make a big production out of it, but it is a good idea to designate which is which, so you have to try and figure it out later. Which it ain't rocket science. Just try it, turn on the key, see which pump. But it's easier just to mark it in advance, and then uh, you don't have to do a bunch of other stuff. So I'm just exposing these first. This is in pretty good shape, so I might not have to replace these little covers. And I'll come down here and I'm going to mark this wire. Then I'll unscrew these little screws, take the lead loose, take these hose clamps off both ends of the pump, both ends of the fuel filter, noting the direction of the fuel filter. You know, it's the little fat end that's the uh, intake and then the out. And just hook them back up. And there you go. This has never been changed. The whole this car has 188,000 miles on it, and this fuel pump and fuel filter has never been changed. Holy smoke! I'm surprised it's even running. I'm surprised it's running. That is way too long, and I don't know what happened to it. I was lazy or something. Anyway, let me go and get a screwdriver. Hi, everybody. All right. So first thing I'm gonna do, like I said. So they got a little green marker here. See a green marker. I'm gonna mark that wire on on the fuel pump so that I make sure I hook them back up correctly. So I'm gonna put some green on it so that I can see it. And this is like a paint pan, so this ain't gonna come off. This is on there. Getting it off is very difficult. Take with that. And cue music. So now, I know that my battery's disconnected, so I can disconnect these. Not to worry about sparks. We'll get a little bit of drips, and I have a bucket here, but I don't know if I can get it under here with the camera, too. So I, I'm not gonna worry about it. A little bit drips, then a little bit drips. So let's start with these hose clamps. And there's also a screw right here in the middle that holds the bracket that holds the two but I don't want to do that last I want to have it stabilized while I'm taking the hoses loose so it's easy for me to pull the hoses off without this thing I'm going to do this side first because I have it clamped off and it's probably going to it's going to drip the least and this hose seems to be in really good shape still. I'll look at the end, see if the ends are cracked when I get it off. But it doesn't feel gummy and soft like it's all worn out. So that's good. And if it is late, I think they're easy to change. You see where it is? Yeah, it's this short little piece. It's, it feels really solid all the way down. So, uh, I'm not going to worry about changing it, I don't think. Unless I see some evidence of... Eh, gently, I'm going to rip it. It'll come off. And, uh, sometimes these are easier as you twist on them. You twist them a little bit and slide off more easily. So, 
Let's see what happens. I hope we don't get a lot of dripping from the... Because this is the hose that comes from the gas tank. Ooh, we yeah, so we got a tiny bit out of the filter. And... Yeah, my little container's catching it, so that's good. That's good. All right. And, and here's a... Oh, this is a weird... Well, either, I'm gonna have to replace these, jeez. So the clamps on the on the uh, fuel pump, they don't have a, they're crimped. So I'm gonna have to destroy these and then replace them. With, yeah, I'm gonna have to take these off and replace them with the regular kind that you screw down. Which is fine, if you don't mind doing that. So that got that in loose. We so do have these little Clamp type hose clamps, crypt, I mean crypt type hose clamps. You can't reuse those. And then uh, the other side is, see I should have got a longer screwdriver for this side. Let me, let me do some movie magic here and go get a longer screwdriver. Uh, I can't turn the camera off. I'll just edit it out. Oh, pain. The pain. Oh. oh. Never mind. I have one right here. So we don't have to add in anything. It wasn't that much time. You guys won't die. If it's that terrible, then you can fast forward it. If you can't stand the wait two seconds. Alright, so now I got a long screwdriver which I can get up in behind here. Get the other end of the fuel filter. Get all these terms straight. Fuel filter, fuel pump, fuel injector. Fuel this, fuel that. I'm like, oh my god. And if you make one mistake, oh my god, everybody has a cow. They're like, look, he said fuel filter and it's the fuel pump. He's a moron. They're like, okay, wait a minute, am I digressing here? Sorry, guys. It's like, it gets that way sometimes. When you're out here in the garage by yourself, you're, you're smelling gas fumes, you know, and different things go through your head, and you just start talking, and sometimes. It makes the listener wonder, what the heck is this guy smoking? But uh, I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't do anything. I don't have any fun, as many would say. I don't have any fun. But I have a lot of fun working on these cars, so. Loosen this up a little bit more. Why fight it? Why fight it? Yeah. Here we got it. Yeah, it's better to leave it, like I said, it's better to leave it hooked up to the little bracket and do this one in the middle. There's one little uh, Phillips here in the middle. Do that last. Don't do that first. It might be tempting to do it first, but I would recommend you just wait because then you got it holding it for you. It's like a second, you know, second pair of hands to hold everything while you try to take these hoses off. And I got two more to go after this one. Then. Then you take your uh, bracket loose and release your, your pump and your filter. And that way, you can, uh, uh, oh, that guy's stuck, huh? Maybe I should twist that one too, but that one's so short, I don't think I can twist it. Let me apply some pulls to it. There we go. Push and pull is what this one requires. A little bit stuck on there. Nice and tight on that fuel up there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get off. Get off. Doesn't want to come off. Yeesh, that's tight. When I put these back on, I'm gonna put a little tiny bit of lubricant, probably grease, because grease will not damage it won't mess up the fuel or anything. It just dissolves and it'll stay in there. Uh, there we go. All right. So now that's just dripping out of the filter. What's in the filter? It's not. It's not connected to any hose anymore. It's just what was stored in the filter. Oh, it's leaking out of the filter into my little container. So we got one more connection on the. Uh, Inlet side of the pump. Let me look at that. Oh, 
That's another one of those crimped ones. So let's, let's see if we can get that to let go. Get underneath it and pry until it pops loose like the other one did. Come to Papa. And of course, as I said before, you can't reuse these. So just go to town on them. Um, let's see if I can find the side that, of course, that's on the side that I can't see. Oh boy. So I have to go blind. Maybe this part's easier if you take the bracket loose so you can see what you're doing. What about that? <clears throat> so let's take it loose and see because we can always put it back if we need to. But I'm going to take it loose and, and get this. That's another thing we do and get this filter out of the way it's dripping really bad I'll put it into the into the container and let's see here if I can I can take this pump loose on the one side I'll be able to uh, slide it up as well slide it out the other way and uh, See if I can twist it, because usually when you twist these hoses, that helps a lot to loosen them up. If you can twist them, but this one ain't twisted, so I'm going to have to loosen it a little bit around the edges first. Just like that. Go around. Get a little gas in there to lubricate it, and then maybe I can twist it after that. Let me try it again. Got a little gas we can See, now it twists real easy. Oh, what the heck is going on? Is that the, wait a minute. Oh, I clamped the wrong end. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So let me see. Let me put this back on here. Shit. Oh. Ah. Okay. There you go with your educational. I need to clamp. I clamped the wrong one. Holy Moses! Yeah. yeah, let me clamp this one. Wait, maybe I didn't clamp the wrong one. Maybe, uh, yeah, I clamped the wrong one. Oh, I got gas everywhere. My hair, in my eyes. It's burning like hell. Oh, this is going to be entertaining. Oh, it's burning. I got to hurry up and clamp this and get in the house. Oh, sheesh. All right, so clamp the correct one. I was close. I never did it before. Oh. Holy Jesus. All right, all right, I'll be right back. Oh my God. <laughs> Woo. All right, sorry about that. Oh man. I had to go upstairs and take a shower after that. Yeah. Let's see if we have the right size wrenches for this. Let's see here. Eight, I got my little specialized. Look at this little guy. You ever seen an adjustable wrench that small? <laughs> it comes in handy. But I think I got the right one clamped this time. So let me try to take that loose again. And hopefully, yay, we don't get a mess like before. And get that out and now I can work on it. I can work on these little screws. And also this other hose clamp. See if I can get these to loose. This tiny, tiny little adjustable wrench saves me many a day. Kind of like, let's see if it gets this to loose. It's tight little little nut on here. There we go. Got that one to loose. Let's do the other one. That. Let's take this cover down a little bit more. Take this down. And if I can break that, that loose. 
There we go. Once it's loose, it's loose. And oh, these have nice locked washers on them. So I'm gonna take, retain those and reuse them. The ones that came in the kit are a little bit cheaper. Let's look a little flat washer. But I like these. So, <clears throat> here's one. Put it aside so we don't lose it. Right here under the camera. And two. And then we only have one thing left to take loose on this pump. This last, this last one here, this last uh, hose clamp, which I think, let me see, it's clamped. How's this thing clamped? Uh, so these can come off. This goes on the right side. This goes on the left side. And the right side is painted green, so that's good. Oh, perfect. Now I can take this off on the bench. All right. So let's go over to the bench. <laughs> Take a break from the chaos of working underneath the car. Okay, we're over at the bench, and I'm going to go ahead and take this guy loose. Uh, so it should be easier here. See how does this. Oh, okay. So this is just clamped. Let's see if you can see it. If this part is just like wrapped over so I need to just pry that off pry it off to get this off tricky little guys she said pry this off and then I will not be there we go see it's little has two little prongs on it that's how you get that off of there just pry it off and then just toss this you don't reuse these little crimpable hose clamp I don't use them at all and then we should be able to twist. And there it is. Here's the old pump. It's going to be retired and it's probably still working fine, but it's old. So I'm going to replace it. And it matches up pretty good with the uh, replacement. I mean, it matches up very, very well. And look at that. And of course, we're going to put the green one on the right side here. We marked. They match up very well. So here's the other end. I can take that off. You can see it. See, they match up very well. So, out with the old, in with the new. All right, we're back under the car. I'm back under the car. And we're going to put these on. Pump and the filter. I took advantage of uh, having the pump off and went ahead and connected this hose up before I put it back on. So now we can put this back on, back on the bracket like so, and just slide it through. And then, uh, let's see, where's my hose clamp that went on here? I think it fell off. Oh no no, I have to get one. Because this is the one that I pried off. So let me go to get a I'm gonna I'm gonna pause you here for a minute. So you want to listen to me walking around the shop. Alright, I'm back. Got the hose clamp. Um <clears throat> see which one fits the best. I got a couple of them. I don't, I don't think I need that big. Yeah. Turn around like that so it's easier for me. And And put that little buddy on there. Like so this was the problem child last time that sent me to the shower. So let me make sure it's on, clamped. And I'm gonna leave it clamped till everything's done. Put this all the way on. Let's see here. All the way on. And then then we'll go after it with this little screwdriver here. Get nice and easy for me to reach. So it's nice and square and fully on. So it's clamping on the neck of that pump. No leaks. No leaks. 
All right, so now we can tighten that down nice and snap. Oh, good job. Now, and I probably, you know what, I gotta loosen it up because you have to, you wanna rotate it so that this little hose is pointing towards the fuel filter because that's what it connects to. Wow, this is one interesting little video. So let's rotate this this way inside that hose. Let's just rotate it so that it's, the hose is facing the uh, filter. It has to connect to the filter. And then, uh, so. Uh, and get this in here, buddy. That. A little bit more. Uh, there we go. Now let's get the filter in and line it up because uh, let's see. Get the direction flow. It's gonna go this way because it's coming from the pump to the filter. So, all right. I can just hook this up now, I guess. So that that'll be done. So we'll hook up to the filter. The other end of this, this hose here. I'm sorry you can't see it. But you wouldn't be able to see it anyway because there's no room for the camera on this side. So I might just cut some of this part out. Since this is the whole this entire video is turning out to be bloopers. Ah, I'm going to, I don't know, maybe I just won't even, I won't even publish this video at all, just, just don't publish it, or I'll put it up for a while, see if people like it, if they don't, then I'll take it down, how about that, that seems fair, I mean, if they don't like it, take it down, right, open this clamp up a little bit more, make it easy for me, Move it along the hose, and uh, yeah, if you do, if you're not familiar, you tackle this. D don't do like I did, man. Make sure you you're paying attention to what you're doing. You clamp clamp the right hose. The hoses are right next to each other. See these two? This is the one to the pump. This is the one to the filter. So I'm talking on the video, and I wasn't paying attention to which one I clamped. I clamped the wrong hose, and then when I took it loose from the pump. Holy Moses. Fuel went everywhere. Hair, back, oh, it was burning like heck on my face, my eyes. And it's dangerous too because I have a light under here. And that light could have, I could have flinched if it was closer and hit the bulb. And there could have been a spark. Oh my Lord, then you guys would not see a video because I'd be dead. <laughs> it would have blew up. And the car would have exploded, my wife would have been mad because this is her car. And uh, yeah, she would have to get another car, another husband. Holy Moses! And then you guys probably would have never got to see this video because I wouldn't have been around to post it. I would have gotten myself blown up. Would have blown myself up. So, yeah, be careful. You know, all these weird little things can happen. And you never know how it can turn and twist on you. Next thing you know, holy smoke, how'd I get here? Let me loosen this up a little bit more. And then turn it down so it's easier. And I'm, a, I'm a fan of easy next time. Make the job easy for next time. So I'm tighten that up. Get these screws angled just right. Unlike the shops, they try to make it so you can't do it so it seems novel. So now we can, you can see the other side. See, it's the same on both sides. Just push the hose on, get it all the way on, and then align your hose clamp so that it's easy for you to, uh, to tighten up the screw. And then make sure it's nice and square, and then tighten up the screw. I'm kind of working blind here so you guys can see. So I have to do my feel. Do it like this. 
so and make sure it's good and on, on the well on the neck here so this is all the way down and then there's a little bit of sticking out tubing sticking out there you can feel it through the hose and then you want to tighten your hose clamp good and snug so that it doesn't leak and, uh, and that's that so both of these so the only thing left to do is hook up the electrical connections the one is green did I tighten this yet? See? Talking. I'm going to have to. I'm getting too old to do videos and do maintenance at the same time. I have to do one or the other. Ah! All right. That looks good. So now, let me see. This is the right side of the spot six out. So where's the green? There it is. So we'll put the green one on here. And the other one on the other side. And then we'll line it up, we'll center it, and we'll tighten up this little, the center bracket screw. Um, I'm reuse the original nut and washer because they were high quality. And it was a lock washer so that it would keep it from loosening up. Uh, keep it on here nice and secure. These are all, there's no corrosion on the connection side. So I'm like, this is nice. So I'm going to reuse these tiny little nuts and lock washers that were originally on there and, and I'm not going to use the one that came in the kit with the pump because those are cheap and I don't like cheap so this is going on very nice get one of them started and I'll get the other one started and I'll tighten them up with my little tiny adjustable wrench that saves me when I have odd sizes I can't find a find the right size wrench it's not this is really really small it's not eight millimeters not seven sixteenths it's a little bitty might be seven millimeters something but I don't care I just use my adjustable wrench and it works just fine so Okay, awkward silence. Think of something to say. Keep the viewer engaged or, or cut it out. Cut the, cut the video. I can't get this one started for some strange reason. I think the rubber's in the way. No, the rubber's not in the way. What is it? It's just I'm not getting it square. Getting it not square with the stud. A little stud, I can't get it. Huh. Is it going on? Are these different sizes? No, there's no way. If it was a different size, the other one wouldn't have went on, right? The other one went on just fine. I think. Are these different sizes? I can't get this to go on. Alright, well I'm not going to let you make you watch all of this, that's for sure. Jeez. I'm going to cut some of this out. This in the way. Nope. Can't get it on. Fumble fingers today, folks. Can't get the nut on the bolt. Hmm. Well, maybe these are different. These different sizes. Try the other one. Well, maybe it's not really on. What is this? Maybe I do need to let you watch this. If these two nuts are different sizes, they look the same. And that's pretty significant. They sure look like they're the same size. And why on earth would they do that? There's no reason. Let's see this go on here. The washer not sitting down. Oh. I'm having a hard time getting it on this one on here too. Maybe there's a problem with this thread. Okay, let's see. Okay, so there it went. That one went on. Threads aren't damaged. Okay, what's next? Now I'll try to put this other nut on the other side. If that doesn't go, then I'm going to get frustrated. Oh, that went on like butter. 
hold it. So now I'm going to just tighten those up, center everything, uh, tighten up the bracket, uh, take the clamp off, and I'll try to start with that on, see what happens. And then we just put our shroud back on in our three plastic 10 millimeter retaining nuts. And uh, put the tire back on, let the car down, take it for a drive and see if it runs more smoothly. The problem we were facing was a little bit of reduction in power, kind of sluggish, and I couldn't figure out why. And also, at idle, the idle was rough. So that's why we're doing this, because we had a couple of symptoms I've been trying to figure out for a while now. There's no engine light, so I'm kind of stuck. Um, I haven't smoke tested yet. I did kind of check, kind of half ass check for, for vacuum leaks visually and by listening but I didn't smoke test it so it could be a vacuum leak and I'm aware of that but a lot of this stuff needs to be done anyway I mean this filter's never been changed in 188,000 miles okay that's not something you think oh you're throwing parts at it no this thing needed a filter 10 years ago so <laughs> that is something that needed to be done anyway as, as this this pump is also you know, the one that was originally put on it when the car was new from when I we've had the car for a long time. So I don't think anybody changed before we got it. And even if they did, it's still been fifteen years. So those are these are parts that need to be changed. Um, also the fuel injectors, I changed those last time. We did the uh, harmonic balancer to try and solve this vibration problem. That didn't work. Uh, we changed the mass airflow meter because I thought, well, maybe it's air. That didn't work. So then I said, well, what is it? It was air fuel spark, right? Air fuel spark. So I said, well, let's finish the fuel. Well, all we did was the fuel injectors, but there's a lot of things in between the tank and the injectors. Like next weekend, if this doesn't work, next week we're going to do the fuel pressure regulator. Uh, I would have done it this weekend, but it didn't come yet. So I'm going to have to do that at another time when it comes because we can't change it if it's not here All right. so a lot of dialogue we put the little rubber protective shield back over the electrical connectors on the, on the, on the pump and, uh, and then we'll put the uh, the cover back up, but you know what? We can start it up and test and see if it idle is smoother right now. We don't have to wait for the put the cover on or anything. We just put it in. But you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna just put everything back together because I don't want to actually put it in drive or something and then it jump off of the jack stand and then we have another another moment. All right, so now I think we can take this little clamp loose safely unlike last time there we go look at that no spillage and uh button her up and try it out all right folks let's get out from under this car all right everything's taken off it's all buttoned up there's the uh fuel filter look at how dirty look at how dirty that fuel is that was coming out of there it's filthy here's the the old fuel pump all taken apart, taken off, and here is the machine that we're going to now try and start. Now, when you do a fuel job like this, and you try to start it for the first time, there's going to be some air in the line, so it's to be expected that the vehicle's not going to start the first try. Another reason that it might not start is if you don't connect the battery up like I just did. Do that. We reconnect the negative terminal on the battery because it really makes it hard for the car to start when when the battery's not connected. Mm -hmm. There we go, a little ten millimeter. All right, so let me go ahead and try and start it now. If it, like I said, it shouldn't start the first time because there should be air light or it should start and sputter, cut out, start up again, and then run smoothly. 
if everything was done correctly. So that's how it sounds. a lot smoother to me and that's how you change and also how not to change a fuel filter and a fuel pump on SOK 230 1999 thanks for watching